What's going on guys? Welcome back to another James 08 YouTube video. Now, today I just wanted to go over what my team ended up like at the end of the year. Now, I haven't played this game a hell of a lot. I did not find this game particularly fun for the most part and it just really wasn't enough to keep me invested. I'm hoping in the new game, NBA 2K25, I'm hoping that that changes. Do I think it will? Mm, I don't know, but I thought I'd do this anyway so I can have a good little uh, baseline to where my team ended up this year uh, when I haven't played much. Now, will that change next year? Hopefully. But uh, if we go over here, this is pretty much the best lineup that I have at the moment that I can put together. As you can see, we have Luka Doncic at the point guard, uh, Vince Carter, Kevin Durant, Dennis Rodman and Anthony Davis. Uh, then on the bench, we've got Steph Curry, Michael Jordan, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Amari Stoudemire, and Kristaps Porzingis. Then on the bench, we've got uh, Jason Tatum and Anthony Edwards. And here we've got Jimmy Butler just because he's there for, I don't know, I forgot to change him. Uh, but I don't really have many other cards. So if we go back over here to uh, my collection, as we go down here, look, you can see I barely have any. I don't have the smooth, I don't have the fireworks, I have mythical, none of these ones here, dominant, summit, dynamo, these ones here, really none. I've got a few of the next cards just because I think they were locker codes. I've got a few of the aftershock ones. I can't remember how I got them to be honest. Maybe from agendas, I'm not sure. One of the ignite cards, I think that was on a board. Uh, then if we go back even to season six, few more here like we've got uh, the Eclipse, the Bold, a few Vortex or one Vortex maybe? Yeah the Luca that was a locker code but once again not really playing much here once again barely any once again barely any so I think season one might have but yeah season one I played a hell of a lot so you can see we've got a lot of these cards here and uh, then even summer standouts the fast break ones we've got all seven level up like you can see i played a lot more but i think actually right around here where the perfect build was it might have been when i stopped really playing my team uh so yeah i just i don't really have any other cards to make a crazy team or, or any kind of crazy team uh th this team here that we're talking about here if i have a look at what cards i can put in uh you can see we've got the 100 overall jerry west We've got the Ron Holland, Bill Walton, the 99 Yao Ming, the GOAT series one, this Dirk, but like it drops off pretty quick. Uh, like a lot of these cards are from, I, I to be honest, don't really know. I, I sort of lost touch with it, but we're going to see if we can pick it up next year. Uh, so this here is the lineup that I'm ending the year with. I most likely won't do any more... Uh, 2k on oh my 2k24 my team videos i might do a stream here or there just to keep the the game alive in uh, for me as we move to 2k25 so i can get that little bit of practice on the sticks and uh yeah you sort of get what i'm saying but this is the team that i ended up with and like i said most of these are from locker codes i think luca was vince was kd was Rodman was, I think Anthony Davis was, actually you know what, I think they, oh no, except for Steph, I think Steph I got, he was in the bold collection, I can't remember exactly how, but got him, I think I've worked, had to do the stuff for him, but then everyone else, I'm pretty sure, is a locker code, so end of the year, obviously you end up a team like this, but yeah, just a quick little update on what my team looked like at the end of the year, and we'll see what it's like as we start 2k25 in a couple of weeks but uh yeah anyway you guys thank you guys for watching and as always stay tuned for the next one peace